Hey, this is Rafi from GeekAndGladiators.com and we're here at ESGS, baby! Let's check out some video games! Hey, we're here at ESGS! We're here at Rally the Games checking out PBA Philippine Slam! We're here with... Uh, Robert, Robert Cruz. Hi Robert, tell us about the game, Philippine Slam. Well, Philippine Slam, as you can see, it's uh, based from, if you remember the old arcade game, NBA Jam. Yeah. You want to big head style, funky, uh, funky dunks, you know, so think NBA Jam, Philippine version. So oh. we're using real PBA players, real real teams, real people, but with the same fun gameplay that NBA Jam used to, used to give us. Yeah, awesome, awesome. All right, now we have 2v2, you're playing against AI, so there's a quick match and then there's the campaign, campaign mode where you play against the cops, Governor Cup or Filipino Cup. And then we have a feature called My Player where you can uh, grab a picture of your face and then put it as a player oh, and then wow. play using that character. That's cool. Uh, you, you put it in your favorite team and then you have you set your own position, number, etc. Then you play as that player. Awesome. So uh, this version that you're seeing right now in the PC, it's the tournament version. Yeah. Uh, so we use this for uh, tournament modes, arcade modes. So it's a uh, 1v1 or 2v2. Uh, either you, you, either an AI or two players controlling the team. And then uh, those are the features that we have right now. Of course, the ever in development multiplayer. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're, we've been working on the multiplayer since forever and uh, we're hoping to get it released soon. Nice. Yeah, so multiplayer as in you, uh, two devices, you play against one another. That's our Online? Thing. Yes. Yes, that's awesome. Where can we find the uh, Philippine Slam? Uh, it's available in uh, both Play Store, Android and iOS. So you can download it in Philippine PBA Slam. You can download it now. All right. Awesome, thank you. Hey, we're here at ESGS. We're here with... Hi, well, I'm Tony Dacayo. Uh, yeah, I'm, we're, I'm here with uh, Renita Games. Uh, and we're introducing a new game, which is Bayani Kanina Kakakampi. Nice, very nice. And what's the game about? Yeah, um, the game is about actually a post-apocalyptic uh, setting, mm. uh, fighting game of our national heroes. We reinvented their looks uh, so that would would fit the setting. And it's more like uh, if you're familiar with Flashpoint, like in DC, it's similar to that one. Oh, so right. everything is not, they're not really them, but they're, they're them, they're something them. like that. So, and what we're trying to do here is uh, bring back the, the hype of fighting game, but in the Philippine setting. So, and we all know that uh, the gaming industry now in the Philippines is actually starting to grow. And it's, it's, it's a nice uh, tribute to all the things that we've, we've inspired also. That's true. That's why we're giving the tribute to all the fighting games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with using this, um, our national heroes. Yeah. And you, and you get to beat up your hated national hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about you, Emilio. <laughs> you know, um, uh, what, what, we, what we're trying to do here is really, we, we want to balance out everything. So even Emilio Aguinaldo, we're hoping that someone would really root for him. Uh, because, we're hoping. Uh, yes, we're hoping. Uh, what we have right now is uh, Joe and Dre, uh -huh. and this is Jose Rizal inspired in Andres Bonifacio. Now, we're going to feature later on, uh, sometime next year, uh, we'll be... Uh, yeah, here we Look go. at that. Okay, so nice. Leo Guinaldo. Yup. So he has a mech arm. But hopefully, hopefully we'll have a full armor set for him. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, soon we're also featuring Antonio Luna. Yay! Yeah. Uh, 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 he's more a tanker. 
And then also Rio Mabini, yeah. uh, who, who is uh, ha who has his own Anito yeah. uh, to fight for him. Uh, more like a stand, yeah. you know Jojo. Jojo yeah. the yes. adventure, shout out. Yeah, and then of course Oria de Asus, the, the wife of uh, Andres Manibajo. Yeah. And then Tandam Sora, wow. who, who is a witch doctor. Nice. Yeah, and hopefully by next ESGS, uh, all the eight, ten, or even ten characters are all there. Are all and there. maybe there's a tournament, I yeah. don't know. But we're rooting for that. But right now, um, it's really, really critical for this stage right now, for especially this demo. Awesome. So where can we find Bayani at this point? Or how can we follow its development? Or Yeah, um, you can follow Ren uh, Renita Games on Facebook. Uh, you can also follow Bayani Ganino Kakakanti on Facebook. You can also follow my art page, uh, Anthony Anthony Takayo. And all the artworks, you can see all the developments, how, how the characters evolve, how the team developed the, the backgrounds, how we studied uh, history. So, no, it's actually, uh, we're also learning from this one because uh, since, like I said, no, it's an inspiration of, the, uh, of our national heroes, yeah. we incorporate uh, trivial facts about oh. this this heroes. No, it's not just playing the game. Mm. It's more like also learning from this game. So um, that's why we emphasize in trivial because uh, this is not historical. Again, this is a fictional fighting game, but inspired by real people, and those are our heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So thank you very much, Sir Tony, for your time. Thanks. Yes, uh, we're here with. I'm Iggy Havillana, and yeah. I am the uh, founder and creative director of Mora Master Games. Awesome. And uh, our game back here is called uh, Save the World: The Misadventures of Luis and Joanna. Mm. Technically speaking, it is a procedural generated roguelike dungeon crawler. Oh, awesome. But since it's a mouthful to say, yeah. All I tell them is, uh, in layman's terms, it's uh, Binding of Isaac meets a Pinoy Scott Pilgrim. It's, it's about Luis, uh, our uh, main hero of the story, who is a resident geek of University of Athena. Okay. And, um, you know, he's a typical geek, really great, smart, but pretty shy, torpe in a way. Yeah. And he has a pretty big crush on the school muse, uh, Joanna, the most popular girl in school. Yeah. Now, one day, the rival school, uh, the president of the drama club of the rival school, St. El Sala, uh, his name is Reginald. He comes in and he casts a curse on the school, and everybody turns into monsters or zombies. As bullies do. <laughs> and then what happens is only Joanna and Luis are left uh, alive as humans. So Reginald kidnaps uh, Joanna, and it's up to Luis now to save to save Joanna, save the world. Awesome. Um, so you first play through the game. You beat the game as Luis. Suddenly the tables are turned. Uh, mm. Reginald captures Luis. Okay. And now you play as Joanna. Oh. And now it's your turn, Joanna's turn, to rescue Luis. And oh. as the story progresses while you're playing, mm -hmm. you actually start realizing that, hey, Joanna also actually has a crush on Luis. Oh, that's so the sweet. underlying theme of it is <laughs> like um, there's an allusion to how people actually feel about another person, but they can't really say it. It takes a world ending paradox in order for you to. To tell them how you feel. I love something that. like that. So you can find us right now. Our website, muramasagames.com, will be up by next week. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are already on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash muramasagames. All right. To the kids out there, don't let a world ending apocalypse prevent you from speaking to the girl of your dreams. <laughs> do it. You can do it. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, sir. Yeah.